Welcome back to Ghostbusters, the video game! We weren't wiki diving Ghostbusters info. We totally didn't just spend like two hours on the Ghostbusters wiki before recording this because we'd have no concept of the progression of time. I mean, it was fun learning about interesting stuff. Yeah. Like how. Oh, one thing I wanted to note, because specifically because I like. I find I have a really hard time wrapping my head around plot and story when I'm actually playing a game. Especially when I'm playing a game, like, blind for videos. Which, that goes to the whole, like, type B, type A, whatever it was that I was talking about in Link's Awakening. But some of that came to where we are in the story right now. I only had the vaguest idea of what the plot actually was. But after spending a little bit of time looking around and figuring, out, figuring stuff out, for just... In case anybody else is a little behind. So at the very beginning of the game, there was real big flash of spectral energy. We have yet to figure out what exactly that was, but it did result in the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man coming back. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is, in fact, Gozer the Gozerian. Yeah, the main antagonist from the first movie and a deity. Yes, I, I, I remember asking us, like, something about, like, if they were connected, and then I found out later. Like, I'm pretty sure some people put in the comments when I said that, that that, that is Gozer. That's just the form Gozer is in. So. See, my assumption was that Goz when Gozer asked, choose the form of your destruction, or of your yeah, destructor. Yeah, like it was a separate destructor. entity. Yeah, I assumed that meant Gozer created this in order to destroy them. And then, like, it makes a lot... It didn't make that much sense thinking that, because then they were like, well, now where's Gozer? And what happened to Gozer? And then they closed the door, and like, yeah, we solved everything, but like, what about Gozer? But no, in fact, Gozer was the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And if they had to pick anything... They're lucky that Peter chose the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Ray. Because that seriously nerfed Gozer's power. It was Ray who did it. It was Ray? Yeah. Right, it was Ray. Ray. But it, that seriously nerfed Gozer's Ray power. Ray has gone bye-bye, Egon. Um, in fact, Gozer was far more powerful in their initial form before turning into the Marshmallow Man. Do you think it's true they um, tried to get David Bowie to play Gozer in the movie? That would have been awesome! Yeah, that's what I heard, that originally they wanted Go David Bowie to play Gozer. Man, that Gozer just feels Bowie. I think that's why they, they go that Gozer That would have been an like amazing Bowie. fit. But yeah, um, so... So the other thing, and I think um, Egon may have, may have theorized this earlier, but um, now that Gozer it was in this realm, Gozer can only take on the form of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Um, so we're kind of... Gozer is kind of stuck in this crappy form for now. <laughs> so what happened, though, was go when Gozer showed up at the beginning of this game, back in Chapter 1... Gozer was dramatically underpowered. Not nearly as powerful as they were even in at the end of the first movie. And apparently the summon or whatever it was that was done to bring Gozer back wasn't completed correctly or wasn't completed with a sufficient amount of energy, which is why Gozer was so underpowered. And what we do know is that Gozer was looking... For our lady friend there on the right. We do not yet know why. We also know, um, given our information from the first movie, that Evo Shandor was the leader of a cult of Gozer and is the one who designed the building that summoned Gozer at the end of the first movie designed it as a lightning rod for spectral activity, conducted all kinds of um, Gozerian rituals in order to summon Gozer. So, now that Gozer came back again, 
and we have this book that we're about to go ask questions about that's supposed to be like the Book of Gozer or something. I think it's the one Ray's looking over right now. Because. Yeah. Um, so, the Cult of Gozer is doing something. Which is weird, because I think there's not even a Cult of Gozer. I think they're all the Ghost of Gozer at this point. Which is super game. awesome. So anyway, let's go ask about that book. Um, it was actually brought to my attention, and let's just go check this just to make sure, that I had set this back to 30 instead of 60. So I'm going to set it back to 60. And I'm going to make sure it's still, it's still on 60. And it is. And now, smooth like butter. Okay, so hey, how about this book? Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it Were represent? Were you a little unnerved when Egon just said how? It a path to obtain great power. Hmm. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. And I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. <laughs> the codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructive form. A destructive form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor <laughs> Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big the collector one donut on artifacts. the hook in there. By Evil Shandor the Architect, you mean Evil Shandor the Genocidal Maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern. Cool. Hey, could you turn around real quick? Go, go up to the kitchen there. I don't know if you noticed this. There's just one donut hanging on the hooks there. It's a donut. Like, I caught it in the cutscene when... They were looking at, uh, crap. They just literally had her name Egon, on screen. Egon, our new boss, called again? Please don't call him that. Just Peck. That's bad uh, enough. Peck <laughs> called again? He's not happy. He says that if you guys fire just one more unauthorized proton stream, he'll shut us down for good. When, Guess what we're about to do. Yeah, when there was in the cutscene going back and forth between Alyssa, I was just like, there's just a donut hanging on the hook, and I know it's 100% Peter who did it. <laughs> I don't know why, it just it just seems like something Peter would do. It's like, I'm done with this donut. Boom. Okay, so this is something I think I mentioned before we started, but I want to say it before we actually get going. But... I, I mentioned Egon is my favorite Ghostbuster, and it's because he seems like he's barely human. And to that degree, um, not only does the guy have two, PhD, two PhDs, he speaks like three and a half languages, he's self-taught to in ridiculous degrees in numerous other things like electronics. You want to bet who wired up everything in here? Yeah, it was him. Um, but then you get the, like, he doesn't quite understand what it is to be a flesh-and-blood person? Well, I... Just, 
just the thing like he mentioned before, where like, how do you? G they asked, how do you get all this stuff done? And Egon said, I've been experimenting with a new sleep uh, cycle where I only sleep 15 minutes a day. Like, you can't do that. I, I think the one thing that gets me is that uh, in that cutscene where he just asks her how, it kind of <laughs> threw me off because it's like Egon is not one for a word, one word sentence kind of character. I think he wants to know everything he can, so him just asking how is like, ooh, that feels a little off. And from the Ghostbusters cartoon, when he mentioned the 15 minutes sleep thing, um, from the old Ghostbusters cartoon, one very tiny scene that I remember to this day that I saw in my childhood was, plot of the episode was that it was unbearably hot out, like ridiculously hot out. And they're all just sitting around sprawled out going ah oh, it's so hot they have fans blowing everywhere all the windows are open just everything they can do and Egon like walks out of the bathroom in a friggin it, like full like full, like super thick wool full body like a long john lo like long john's sleeping thing and everybody's just like, Egon, what? <laughs> and he said, my theor, like, I was theorizing that if I wear so if I wear this, it'll keep the heat out, so it won't actually get to me. And like, at face value, you go, that makes a weird kind of sense, which is, I'm sure, what he was going by, but then. One of them, probably Ray, was just like, but it also won't let the heat out. And he just goes, oh. <laughs> and then he goes back in and changes. Like, it's just that slight disconnect from reality. Well, yeah, and like in the first movie, Janine is crushing on him really hard, and he just does not seem to get it. And He's just in his own little world, doing his own thing. Like, so what are you interested in? I collect mold spores and funguses. <laughs> Let's go talk to Vigo. We haven't seen Oh, which he has a, um... God. One of his PhDs oh. is in microbiology with a, I think, a minor in micrology. Yes. I don't talk think to Vigo. So. Hey Vigo, how you doing, guy? He was the he was the no, one that started this whole thing. It didn't just stop working. And it doesn't just need toner. It literally exploded after it screamed okay, insanity dead. How about again? Oh, no, I don't think I the nature of our business has anything right at all to do with whether or not here. you honor your product's warranty. <laughs> what makes it better is that is uh, Max von Sandow. So they just got him to voice Vigo again. <laughs> and it's like, world, god damn, they went all out on this cast. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, so, so Vigo, I think we mentioned before, he was the main antagonist of the second movie. And looking into his history and everything, he was, um, he was Dracula's cousin. Yeah. Like, think about it that way. Like, like you know, not just Dracula, like... Vlad Tepe. Vlad the Impaler? Yeah. Dracula? His cousin. Yeah. That, that, so if you want to know why he's, like, unbearably powerful and a supreme warlord and well-versed in the magical arts and near godlike, Yeah, there you go. Like, the best I could say is just take Dracula and give him a Rasputin-esque death in a mythology and you get the idea behind Pico. Oh, um, I think I've also found that you lose all your money when you save and load. Because I had money in the firehouse when we stopped recording last, but I booted it up this time and I got zero dollars. Why is Egon looking at Slimer? I don't know. Hey, Egon, no. what's up? Can't talk to him. Okay. So cancel next Communicating Thursday, with him. I'm more concerned why Janine brings up dragon blood, and that I have to think, like, they've probably fought a ghost dragon at some point. There's no way. Probably. Oh, oh, somebody sent them something, it looks yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that they said was dragon blood, but they're like, 
No, it's thing. not. And we just got in a couple of, let's see here, large Taiwan. Yeah, I think it was like somebody's trying to scam them or something. She's like, I ain't falling for this shit again. Again? The dragon blood free of charge. It's a and she friggin' threatened them to release a couple <laughs> terror demons. All right. Thank you so much for calling. That is Janine. That is 100% okay. Janine. <laughs> All right, let's get going. We should warn the mayor. I don't know, he's likely to just sick peck on us even more. You should get a closer look at the museum. Well, the mayor's gonna be at the museum for the exhibitioning opening gala tonight. It's where I need to be too. Phyllisa, you sure make work fun for me. Is business casual okay? I don't have a tux. Are you kidding? He doesn't want you guys within three city blocks of the museum tonight. He thinks you make his campaign contributors nervous. Besides, that peck guy will be at the party too. Okay, Egon will stay here and finish analyzing the data from the library. The rest of us will go in by the service entrance of the museum and lay low. Peter can attend the party as Alyssa's guest and stay in plain sight of Peck. And that frees us up to check out the rest of the building. I love this plan. It's just dull enough to work. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to bring you a corsage. I like how Ray is like the inadvertently the, the wingman in this whole thing. We're going to poke around. Oh, they didn't okay. even show us like I'll driving up to the team. building. No sign of the curator. Melissa told me he'd meet us right here. Well, that's concerning. And now I gotta keep an eye on that PK mm. meter. Got it's New York. They're gonna be rats. Yeah. Ooh, is it raining? Oh, we're okay. We're switched on. Is it raining outside there? Just heard the thunder. That sounded like lightning. Oh, oh hi. Nice. Yeah. Well, something bad's happening here, guys. Something wanted out of this box in a big way. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a broken box there. eventually open a full interdimensional portal. That somehow created grass. Wants to can come through. If a full portal has been opened, it has to be sealed using your slime blower. That's the key reason we developed that deck. Thanks, Vigo. Okay, I kind of missed some of what they said. Uh, basically, something wanted out of that box, and they have apparently it might have opened a portal. And cool. what your slime technology is to close those portals. That's why I got slime. Oh, yeah, you're hitting green. Look, I don't want to cause too much trouble right now. Oh man, I don't want to cause trouble right now. It's, it's press the button. Oh, you have to use your capture stream. I was trying to. I'm trying to remember how. I think it's right click. Ah. Shift. Come on. Okay, look, I just went back here, okay? This jump button is useless. Is that? It's right here! Fine! I didn't want to, but here we are. Wait, do I want to hit this? I would scan it. It looked like you had a scan thing next to it. Next to the slime. I got... No, I can't hit it because I got stuff in the way. <laughs> so we're really taking after Peter on that one. Good work, Pigo Eye. Look at this. Something's trail packing material down the hall here. Packing oh, you need, need to get to it to open up the door. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so I actually did what I was supposed to do. Yeah, you did it without them telling you anything. <laughs> you were like, wait a minute, guys, I'm picking up ghosts. Ooh, the light switch. Cool. Mannequins. That doesn't make <laughs> me feel creepy and bad. <laughs> oh, that black slime next to me. Oh, wow, that whole wall. <laughs> I 
how you took out that pallet pretty well. I can't get that. It's just gonna be up there, I guess. Um, yeah. Thanks. I didn't get that button. Was that a possessor? Maybe. Looked like a level seven or above, too. Didn't we used to fight class twos and threes every now and then? What happened to them? They were easy. Ah, the good old days. I'm more worried that she'll stir things up around here. I expect we'll see her again sooner than we want to. Oh my me just cleaning the floor. Were we going over that like Gozer was class seven? Oh, class seven entity. This is a possessor, so it's probably on a different scale. Yeah, class seven is. As far as, like, proper ghosts go, um, class 7 is the highest you can get, and that's a deity class. It's the equivalent in danger to something like Gozer. Which, Vigo was also a class 7. There have there are not many class 7s. I think they specified class 7 entity, and they said this was a possessor, so it might be a class 7 possessor. Oh, relic nearby. It's in that corner. Hello? Who's in there? Oh, I Somebody see that wants out is who? Ritual mask of bad advice. Should I hey, ask Janine out on a date? Oh, no, sure, nothing bad will happen. Ready for Possessors are tricky and powerful. Free the trap, civilian. Nope. Swing and a miss. Nope. Look, I'm trying. Oh, Dr. Rutherford. Uh, Z, meet the assistant curator of the museum. Is that horrible, terrible thing gone? Yeah, she's gone. You good? I, uh, yes, I suppose so. I'm a big fan. I even had you over for my daughter's birthday a couple <laughs> years ago. That <laughs> That's so? a callback. Well, I think we can get you a sticker or button or mug or t-shirt or something when we're done here. Oh, that would be wonderful. Follow me. We'll go through the restoration department. Listen, if Dane Aykroyd gave me a t-shirt, that would be my best t-shirt ever. I want one of the Ghostbusters to give me a Ghostbusters t-shirt. I don't even care if it was a size small, I would still cherish that thing. There oh, it is oh, again! Oh, no. Don't let it get me! Don't you worry. You'll have to go through me first. Not a color war. I think third time that's happened to him? Hold him down, young blood! Yeah, I'm just gonna spray him with feel good juice. Actually, it's really working. I mean, that's what the feel good juice is for. Oh, you got a scanner, too. Oh, that's good. Got her! Alright, so the, um,. I believe the proton packs have technically been altered in this version of, or in this game, by this point of time, to prevent um, crossing the streets. Yeah, yeah, we keep bringing this up. Don't pick up. Yeah, it's been brought up before, but I think it's actually a thing. That's fusion based exorcism. So now, if you cross the streams, instead of crossing them, they just immediately overheat. Will he be okay? Mm. How you doing, Ray? Oh, he'll be fine in a second. <laughs> After you. Oh no, if this place is possessed by possessors, we'd better get to Peter fast. Bankman, we found the curator. We're on our way to the Gozer exhibit now. Oh, also, apparently you make money for destroying so things. to show you. Uh, where to start? Things have been so you actively want to blow up as much as possible in order to make money. Are you sure? I thought it was just the cost. Well, hello there. Dig it, Peter. We got possessed again. Ah, Z. You'll have to go through me first. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Just like a puppy. And she Every did. Day's the first day. 